Hey everyone, welcome back to Birdhouse TV, where we eat it so you don't have to. Happy Irish Appreciation Day everyone! Today is the sister holiday of April 20th, because on both days, we like to consume lots of greens. Don't forget the reason for the season. Today is the day that the color green was invented. I know I may look 80 or 90% Irish, but believe it or not, I don't got a single drop of Irish blood in me at all. However, I'm still a sophisticated man. So I'm still going to celebrate this holiday by eating a traditional Irish sandwich. So the secret to a great Irish sandwich is to use the freshest ingredients possible. I have here some authentic Irish bread that I got straight from the source, an Asian market, which is basically just an Irish market in disguise. Then I have wasabi peas and seaweed. I also got these from the Asian market. Uh, you know, we Asian people really like Irish folk. So much of our food is green. We even have a tea that's green. Next, I have some green bread spread. This is the soul food of Irish people. And then to make this video even more offensive, I have here some Lucky Charms. I was out in the wild picking them. Uh, I picked them for less than a minute. I gave up after a minute because it's too hard to find the lucky ones. They have the forearms. Unfortunately, these charms ain't lucky, mate. They are just charms. Because Lucky Charms have four arms. These ones have three. They are just charms. Alright, so I have here the Irish bread. It smells a little weird. <laughs> Next, green bread spread. This one smells really good. The Irish bread smells strange. It smells not bad right now. Next, the seaweed. And then the wasabi peas. Mmm, that smell good. And finally, the offensive part. Wow, this thing looks super fancy actually, but it stinks. I swear, this is like the stinkiest thing I've made so far but it looks awesome. Usually when you go to a nice restaurant, things will stink, but they'll taste great. So, I'm gonna make this fancy. I'm just gonna put some green ice cream, and if I ever, if I ever open the restaurant, I'll charge a hundred bucks for this thing. So I'm ready to dig in. I think it's gonna taste bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's actually, it's actually edible. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It just smells awful. But it tastes okay. It smells really, really bad. Oh wow, that bite is pretty good. <laughs> I think I can finish it.
this bite just now, very bad beginning. Pretty good ending. It literally tastes like uh, nature. Like it tastes like uh, I just walked in the backyard and just like face planted into the grass and just start like snorting the grass. Tastes just like snorting grass. I think I deserve this ice cream. Wow. All right. The sandwich was so bad that when I bite into the ice cream, I can't even taste it. It just tastes like cold. I can't even taste any of the uh, any of the green tea. To summarize, smells really bad. Tastes okay. Um, I did suffer a little bit. Like whenever I get a big whiff of the smell, my body wants to throw up. And then once I start biting into it, especially when I bite into the wasabi peas, I calm down a little bit. I think the wasabi peas are the MVP because it is like sweetness overload. And then when I bite into the clovers, the charms, I kind of want to throw up. It just tasted like eating grass, sweet grass. And then when I bit into the wasabi peas, I was like, okay, this is doable. Those uh, wasabi really saved the sandwich. Yeah, I can't even taste the ice cream. That's not good. Sorry, Fanta. That was not good. Don't make that anymore. So what do you guys think of this traditional Irish dish? Would you guys try it? What do you think it would taste like? Let me know in the comments below and have a safe Irish Pride Day. Remember that driving under the influence can result in undesired fines, holds, or suspensions. Don't be a wanker. Sleep in your clanker. <laughs>